Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we're going to show you how to change out the Whirlpool freezer door switch. It's going to be a very easy repair and it should only take us a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new freezer door switch. This Whirlpool door switch actually has two functions. It turns the light on and off when you open and close the door, but it's also a safety switch that doesn't allow the auger motor to come on and dispense ice when you have the door open. So you might have to change it if you can dispense ice with your door open. In order to get the switch out of the freezer wall, you have to use a small screwdriver, slip it down in between the switch and the wall, and gently pry out. There's a little retaining clip in there that you have to press down and then work it out. Once you have the top released, you can come down and do the bottom. Just got to kind of work it out slowly. There's that little arm that you have to press down in order to get it to release. Once you have the switch out, you can take the three wires off. If you need to, you can use a small flathead screwdriver to pop them off. Here's the old door switch next to the new door switch. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you put the new switch in, it's labeled just like the old one was. Y is for yellow, BB is for black and blue, and BK is for black. So we'll go ahead and put them back on. We have the yellow one. The black and blue one. And the black one. Once we have the wires reattached, we can rotate the switch. So this, your locking arm is on the top. And then just rotate it into the hole and snap it into place. Now that you're done repairing your refrigerator, you can plug it back in, make sure that it starts to cool off and that the temperatures return to normal. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.